Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the EcoFlow River 2 Portable Power Station. In today's video, I'd like to give you five good reasons why I think you're going to fall in love with this amazing portable power solution. But before I get to the reasons, I thought I'd explain what a power station like this provides and why you may need one. So a portable power solution like this is essentially a large battery that you can charge at home, you can charge it in your car, or you can even charge it off a solar panel. And once you have it fully charged, you can take that stored energy out in the field with you on your next camping trip, a long road trip with the family, or if you lose power at the house, and you can use that stored energy to charge and operate all of your thirsty portable devices, like your tablets, your phones, maybe your game consoles, you can plug a lamp into it, and it just provides a lot of power that you can use again whenever you need it when you're away from home. Now there are a lot of things that separate the brand new River 2 from EcoFlow from a lot of other portable power solutions on the market and these five reasons will give you some really good details on what separates this from a lot of other products you may be considering. So the first thing I look at whenever I'm considering a portable power station is how portable is the unit. Now this unit is really lightweight, it weighs about 7 pounds, 11 ounces, so it's not terribly light, but it's not really heavy, and actually it's light enough to take with you pretty much anywhere. The important thing is, even though it's light, it's got a lot of energy packed inside that small case. The product provides 256 watt hours of internal capacity, which translates into 300 watts of external charging and operating capabilities. But the important thing is, it can actually surge up to 600 watts. So if you're plugging things in, like a power drill or a blender, or anything that draws a little bit more current when it first turns on, this unit can handle that extra surge. You won't have to worry about popping a breaker. So 300 watts at 7 pounds 11 ounces is that perfect balance between portability and power, which means you have enough energy with you to charge everything you're taking out for a nice long weekend of camping, but it's not too heavy where you're gonna think about maybe not bringing it on your next trip. Another key difference is the technology behind how that energy is stored inside the unit. Now, there's a lot of different technologies out there for battery chemistry. Most of the portable power solutions on the market are still using a LiPo or lithium polymer technology. And the challenge with that is that battery chemistry is not really tolerant of cold weather and hot weather. You also can't charge and discharge it a lot of times. You're limited to how many times the battery can actually hold a charge and then give that charge back to you to charge external devices. This one is using lithium iron phosphate batteries which is one of the very latest battery chemistries out there. And again, the advantages of that are that lithium iron phosphate batteries handle cold weather, handle warm weather really well. It also provides over 3,000 charge cycles, which means you can hang on to this unit, fully charge and discharge it once a day for over 10 years. So you've got a lot of life left out of the unit. And that's one of the most important factors when you're comparing the River 2 to other portable power stations on the market because you want to hang on to a product as long as you can. Another key difference with this unit is the charging capabilities. A lot of the portable power stations on the market may provide a way to charge it at home, and they may even provide a way to charge it in your car or off a solar panel. But the challenge is, a lot of times you've got to go out and find connectors, and you've got to find a brick to charge it at home if that brick goes bad. So this unit itself will charge directly off your AC outlet. So you essentially plug the cord into the wall, plug into the back of the unit, and you can charge the unit. Another key difference is that EcoFlow has built in their own technology for the conversion from the AC in your home to the DC that's needed to charge the batteries, and that's built into the unit, and they can carefully control how that conversion is done. So you can actually charge this unit, I'm laughing because it's amazing, you can charge this unit in less than an hour to 100%, which means compared to other units that may take five or six hours to charge, you're going to charge this and get out the door pretty much in the amount of time it takes you to drink a cup of coffee. So I think that's absolutely amazing. You can also charge this from your car through the DC port on the back. You can charge it from the solar panel. You can also charge it through the USB-C port on the front, which is bi-directional. So you can add energy to the unit through that port. You can also draw energy out of the unit through that port. So they give you four different ways that you can charge the unit. One other key difference between this one and a lot of other products on the market is the output capabilities of the product. Now, most of the portable power stations on the market will include one or all of these different outputs. AC, DC, which is 12 volts just like in your car, or some type of USB connection. 
But the big difference is there are a lot of technologies behind the way those connections are made. The number of ports are important and the type of ports that are important as well. So with the River 2, you've got all three options built in. You'll find AC charging right here. There are two AC ports. One is grounded, one is ungrounded. Those will provide 300 watts of external capabilities. Again, that will search the 600 watts. It's also a pure sine wave output, which is different than a lot of other portable power stations that may use a modified sine wave. And with sensitive electronics, you want to make sure that you've got AC output that uses a pure sine wave, just like the River 2 does. Another output that's available is the DC output over here. That's a 12 volt, 10 amp output, just like in your car. So anything you plug into your car convenience outlet, you can plug into that DC output and run off this unit. And you can run those simultaneously, which is really nice as well. And then finally, the USB output in the center here, there's a wide variety of connection ports and types built into the unit. So you'll find two full-sized USB-A ports, They'll deliver 5 volts at 2.4 amps, which is the highest amount of current that you'll find in most home chargers. So anything you're charging at home today with a wall charger, you can plug into those USB-A ports and fully charge that device. In the center, you'll find a USB-C port, which is the latest connection technology on the market for charging portable devices. The interesting thing about that USB-C port is that it's also a smart charging port, which is PD or power delivery capable. So if you've got a phone or a tablet or a game console or a drone battery that uses power delivery technology, the minute you plug it into that port, the port will actually interrogate that device, figure out what the current charge levels are of that device, and it'll adjust the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge that device. So it's a smart port that will really flatter a lot of the power delivery technology out there. The last thing I wanted to mention about the PD port is it's also a 60 watt port. And that's important because a lot of the portable power stations on the market may provide a PD port, but it may only be 25 watts or 40 watts. Knowing I've got a PD port that can deliver 60 watts means I can plug really thirsty things into that port like a larger tablet or a game console or drone batteries or even a laptop that needs to be charged. So imagine being out in the field on your camping trip, having this unit with you, plugging your laptop into it so you can charge your laptop without worrying about having an AC outlet anywhere in the area. So it's a pretty incredible product. So all those things being equal, like I'd mentioned, the portability, the power, the battery chemistry, the output options on the unit really just makes this an incredibly clever device. And all the things I've mentioned are really major differences between this product and a lot of other portable power stations on the market. EcoFlow is really built a unit here that's incorporated the very latest in technology to charge it, to hold the charge, and then to deliver that charge to external devices through all of the outputs that I've mentioned. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I've been using this product for about four months now. I like it an awful lot and I've used it an awful lot and I think you're gonna like it as well. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, stay nerdy.